and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we continue on in this Christmas season, as we gather around the table of the Lord, let us prepare ourselves to continue to prepare, to prepare ourselves to receive Christ into our hearts by acknowledging our sins and once again asking our Lord for his mercy and his forgiveness. You were born as one of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are the way to eternal salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. And we continue to give praise to Almighty God as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free. For ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away. But whoever does the will of God remains forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory through his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A holy day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, and adore the Lord. Today a great light has come upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was eighty-four. 
She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. In coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Word of the Lord, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue on in the Christmas season, we continue to recognize the beautiful calling of, given to us by our Lord to continue to recognize Him and to receive Him into our hearts. We have spent four weeks during the season of Advent preparing our hearts to receive Christ. We opened ourselves, we prepared ourselves, we walked the path of repentance and preparing a place suitable for the Lord. The challenge for us now is not to let that time of preparation go to waste, but to continue to grow in recognizing, understanding, and receiving the presence of the Lord whenever He comes to us. We see in our Gospel today how Anna, the prophetess, has prepared for that. She has found her vocation being a prophetess, but in also in recognizing the presence of God when He enters into her life as a newborn child. Anna's heart is open. Anna's heart is ready to welcome the presence of the Lord because she had lived her life in preparation for it. And giving thanks to God and being able to see and to recognize her Lord in her midst, she then brings that good news to others. As the Gospel tells us, speaking about the child to all who are awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. And this then is the second part of the season of Christmas, this continued reminder for us that as we celebrate the good news, as we celebrate the joyful occasion when Christ was born as one of us, that we need to share that with others as well. We need to keep proclaiming the good news of the reason why we are celebrating, to continue to wish one another a Merry Christmas as we recognize that Christ truly was born as one of us. And then to share that good news, to be an example of Jesus each and every day of our life. Because that is the fundamental vocation of all of our lives, to grow as disciples of Christ, recognizing His presence, receiving Him into our lives, and then sharing that good news with everyone that we meet. In whatever vocation that the Lord calls us to, as a priest, as a nun, as a teacher, as a husband, as a wife, as a parent, whatever vocation we are called to, the fundamental vocation is always to be a true disciple of Christ. And as we continue on in this Christmas season, we are given the reason that we are able to do so. We are given the joy and the exaltation to rejoice in knowing that the Lord truly is one of us, that He entered our lives as one of us and invites us then to share in that continued love and joy for Him. And so as we embrace this beautiful Christmas season, as we continue on in receiving the presence of our Lord into our hearts, let us continue to embrace our vocation of being true disciples, true witnesses of the good news of this Christmas season and of our beautiful relationship with our loving God. And so trusting in our loving God, we bring to him our prayers and our petitions today. So we pray for our church. May we embrace every opportunity to continue to be disciples of the Lord. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our country, for our nation. May we embrace every opportunity to be peacemakers in our own communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all families that in these holiday seasons, we may embrace Christ's call to be messengers of love to one another and so building the church at home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are sick, all those who are recovering from or struggling with any illness. May the Lord give them peace and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they come to share in the gift of God's eternal reward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today for the needs and intentions of Father Beto Blanco, 
the needs and intentions of John Alexander, for the repose of the soul of William Bill Alexander, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the quiet of our hearts, is spoken aloud wherever we are, we bring to our God our own prayers and petitions today. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and ever, and ever loving God, we ask that you listen to the prayers we bring before you today as we ask them, trusting in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Lady of the Assumption, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, born by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. And peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.